Today I have something special for you guys. Uh, this video is pretty much different from my previous videos because normally what I do is I create a video on how to make a character, how to make an interior and how to make a prop and that kind of stuff but today that is something this is something different. So this video is for completely beginners and for intermediate and just for enjoying also because today I'm gonna show you the one tool from which you can create almost anything so the tool is extrude tool and see how i create all of these stuff that you're looking right now from this one tool so let's get start so first of all this is blender i will just drag and select all and delete that with the delete key you can see all the keys here and now the next step is the first thing that we are going to make is the glass so for the glass I have a reference image so I will go to the numpad one and go to the front view and then grabbing my reference image from my file explorer to something like this here and I will move it toward the y direction a little come up to the front and G and Z to move it up to the Z now shift A and add a circle go to the front view and let's try to match this with this one also you can make the glass more like to the center and again select our circle go to the front view edit mode e to extrude at z and then e z then scale and then e z scale and then e z scale E Z scale and at, at any point if you see like I scale it wrongly so you can just alt shift and left click to select the whole loop and you can again rescale that if you want it so again come up to the front view go to the wireframe from here drag to select the first one go to the solid view again E to extrude that and Z to extrude it on Z and let me just go come up to the object mode select this one grab it toward the x direction a little and now again e extrude z and here i want to scale it something like this extrude scale e extrude z scale or you can just undo that if you think that this is not enough for that so as many loops you have as many steps you get you will get a cleaner or smooth look and then e extrude s to scale e extrude s to scale e s e s and somehow like this and at the end what you can do is you can extrude one more time and this will be the edge of course and now let's come up to the object mode and if you see like it's a little rough we can now delete the reference image you can right click and make it shade smooth so this is the first thing that we made from it and now let's start the second one so the second one is to create this cuff from it so shift a and for this we will be adding a cylinder of course then coming up here go to the edit mode select go to the face selection select this one and delete to delete the face and now come up here again to the vertex selection and we can select all of this come up to the front view and you can also use the reference if you are like a little confused that how it will work so you can uh, keep an image behind it but for me it's just a simple cup so we can just try it simply like this s and then extrude it one more time and extrude it down and we'll make this one down something like this and at the end we can just simply fill this thing so this is the base of our cup now we need handles for it so again what we can do and here's the one thing that it's pretty much sharp so if we just extrude it and then scale it so we will get a nice edge so now shift a and add a plan here scale it down go to the front view move it toward the x direction rotate it like with 90 degree and scale it move it up here
or we can just make it a little inside if you feel that and now go to the edit mode again need to extrude that somehow like this E again move it toward here or you can just shift and right click control and right click to just extrude it somehow like this we can come up to the edge selection and alt shift and left click to select an edge and we can just simply can simply adjust it and we can now scale it with the y direction a little and we can move it up a little side and now right click to smooth that and right click to smooth that and this is how simply we can make a cup format now select this one and as to hide that and now the next thing is uh, to create a simple camera so for that uh, shift a and add a cube scale it down scale it with the y direction so s and y and move it toward the x direction a little come up here go to the edit mode select the pass select this one and now extrude it up here extrude it again select this one extrude it at z s and x to scale it on y you can make it a little down and we can also select these tools and s and x to just scale it on the x a little if you feel that it's a little too much so you can just decrease that the next step is to create the buttons here so shift a and add a cube scale it down come up to the front view move it up here and now scale it with the Y and scale it down with the Z and simply we can make it here and now one more thing that we need is that shift D, Y, G and Z to grab it down, S and Y to scale it on Y, come up to the front view and move it up here s and x to scale it on the x and y somehow like this and the final thing is to add a cylinder here so shift a and add a cylinder scale it down r and x and then 90 to rotate it 90 degree and now we can just simply scale it again move it toward this direction come up to the front view and move it up here And then shift D, Y, now scale it, move it up to the Y again, and now go to the edit mode, select this face, E to extrude, S to scale, and then E to extrude, and we can simply move it toward the in direction. And this is how simply we can make a camera through it. We can also create some low poly trees from it so for example uh, if i want simple low poly tree so shift a add a cylinder s to just scale that s and z to scale it on z let's just move it up here now come up to the front view and let's see which type of trees that we can make so shift a and with for this purpose I would like to add a uh, circle again move it up here come up to the edit mode and now come up to the vertex E to extrude Z and now scale E Z scale E Z scale 
somehow like this and at some cases if you think that the scale is not matched so you can come up to the wireframe and select that loop and just scale it like this now again go to the edit mode object mode and now shift d and z to move it up to port here now shift d and z and move it up here so this is the first tree that we made and if i just control j to join that and h to hide that come up to the front view again and shift a add a slender move it up up and for now i am just creating a, a new type of tree so if i just move this thing up e takes root and now e takes root and then e and then up so now if we just see in the wireframe we created this kind of topology so we can just select one of that e takes to that g to move it up move it up here rotate and scale that and also from this side we can select all this front view e takes to move it up here R to rotate and S to scale that. Now in object mode shift A and we can add a simple spare. Scale it like this. Rotate it. Move it up here. Shift D. And at X direction. Rotate. And we can move it here. And right click to smooth. Right click to smooth. Now come up to the front view again. And shift A and add a new one spare. Grab it up, scale it, something like this and right click to make it smooth. So this is, and you can also, what you can do is you can select this face and move it toward like Y direction and this one the Y like this. So we can add some variation to it. So this is how uh, we can create all of the, the trees that you're looking at the screen right now. Now next step is to create a whole building through this. So for this I decided to create a, uh, a circle. Just click on here and decrease the number to something like 6 and click OK. And now come up to the edit mode select all to scale that and as to scale that and now e extrude z on the z direction and then e extrude s to scale it on the uh, scale it overall like this and now e z e s e z e s and E Z and from here we can extrude with Z like this and now we can E extrude S to scale E extrude Z and then E S E Z es somehow like this and now we can again e z and e s e z e s e z e s and now again the sense step that we can extrude somehow like this e s E Z and E S and now again we have to make this uh, stairs so E Z E S E Z 
E S E Z E S E and Z and you can repeat the same process to just make this thing so I will finish this thing and then come up to you now select this one this one and this one and now you need to extrude that as to scale that and now we can simply E and move it inside and we can simply get these kind of details so if you want it you can do it uh, the same thing with the ribbon and passes so E S you just scale it with X and now E and move it up inside so again the same thing need to be here but uh, this one this design is a little different so E and we will scale this thing somehow like this and now E and just inside again so this is like uh, the wideness and the length of this these two are a little different so E S and now E and extrude it inside and again here do the same thing so once I finish it so this is how we can create the whole building through this so this is how you can create all of these stuff with just one tool that is extrude tool so thank you so much for watching and for supporting subscribe and see you in the next video